Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Um, oh, buffalo sauce, I found this really amazing recipe and it seems so easy on making your own buffalo sauce. Um, and it gave a little bit of history about where buffalo, the buffalo sauce came from. And it was just outside of New York, uh, a small town called Buffalo and was invented by, um, I can't remember the lady's name, but she ran the Anchor Bar uh and her sons her son's friends were all around and they were having i mean teenage sons were had a little bit of a late night and they asked for a late night snack and apparently they used to throw away the wings in those days um but they were just discarded and she just had them to hand and she threw together the ingredients for this buffalo sauce cooked the wings and then coated them in the sauce once they were cooked and so we're going to follow this recipe because this recipe is as close to that original recipe as it could follow. I will put a link to the original recipe I found online in the description as well as listing my ingredient details in the comments, uh, pinned to the comments and in the description etc. Um, it's all over there. Uh, the sauce is so easy to make. Once you've got the base ingredient which is Frank's, this um, thing which did, it's little don't sell so I had to, I went to Asda. I think it was, oh mem memory, memory. It was about one pound twenty-five, something like that. You use the whole jar, and you even you could even make the sauce and set it aside for later use. So you could, if you if you knew you was going to have um, hot wings, not buffalo wings rather. <laughs> um, let's say on a Friday night, you could make the sauce in the morning and just stick it in a jar or some sort of recycled pasta jar. You know that you've, is clean just before because you pour it on the hot on the cooked wings once they're cooked because I did initially I double checked this I was thinking mm, I, I, I got to cook them the, the wings in the sauce in the air fryer but it, what you do is you cook the wings first and while they're cooking you make your sauce up if you want if you haven't made it already uh, which is dead easy uh, literally bung all the ingredients together and melt them um, and then once the wings are cooked toss and serve <laughs> this is, sounds lovely and easy it's on a Friday night especially so easy um, I have made uh, cooked wings rather in the ninja and on about a year ago I will put a link in the description to that it wasn't it was KFC style wings but the same principle um, is the same you know the same amount of wings and you did I did have to um, uh, cook I couldn't cook the whole lot although I might I would I'm not going to be cooking them in the Ninja today, but I would, what I would advise is you just, just need to move it about more because the, the Kasuri Jewel Blaze does offer a, a more space, which is why I'm going to use it today. So come and have a look at the ingredients. So we have all our um, ingredients for the hot, um, the buffalo sauce, the Frankie, Frank's Red Hot original sauce. As long as it's, if it doesn't have to be, I think there are other brands, it just has to be kept um K I I don't even know how to say this. K and K K and pepper based rather than a hot sauce. So as long as it's basically this her um spice derivative of, you know, then it's absolutely fine. Worcester sauce, rice vinegar, um I'm adding a, sp a teaspoon of honey because in the reviews a lot of people said that, um to do that. Garlic powder. This is actually cayenne pepper there I've just put it up there for demonstrative purposes and butter and the butter does make it absolutely you know silky and gives it a richness makes it utterly delicious uh, and obviously the wings the wings I'm going to cut up because um, they need to to be cut into their um, respective drumstick I think they're called I can't quite remember the other name a wing and a drumstick is if you like um, oh I'll have to look that up I can't quite remember what the terms are Anyway, I'll do that. I probably would have put that on the screen. <laughs> I just can't quite remember it. So we're going, we're going, first of all, we're going to cut them up. And when I start cooking these as they are, I'm not going to adorn them. They've got enough, it's got enough fat. I'm going to let the air fryer bring out the, the bar, you know, whatever. I'm not going to adorn them with anything, not even salt, because I think there's probably plenty of that going on probably in there. It's, it's not really needed. Just going to cut them up and throw them in the air fryer. And while they're cooking, let's get this on the on the in the pan. Any small pan will do, um, because once it's in there, you can just set it aside while while you're waiting for your wing, uh, wings to cook.
So let's get cracking and start cooking. See you in a bit. Right, so we have our chicken wing and we need to cut it into three sections. This is the wing tip, if you like. Um, I would, you know, reserve them for making chicken stock. So you've got a big V that this is the drum it, the drum it and this is the wing it. And you find a kind of area there you just cut. It shouldn't be too difficult if you kind of right down the middle of a V like that. So I'll bung that in there and then do the same for the, for the, the wing tip, throwing that in the bowl for making chicken stock later. And this is the wing it. So you have your, your drum it because it looks like a mini drumstick and your wing it. And that's basically all going to be our chicken wings. Okay, so I'm um, going to put the chicken wings in the cassori jewel blaze. Um, like I said earlier, any air fryer, whatever brand, just do the same thing. I'm literally sticking them in the air fryer and I'm going to allow the natural fat to kind of cook it, hopefully. <laughs> I might regret that later. So let's see what we're going to put it on. Uh, let's just put roast because it's nice high temperature. Start with 10 minutes because I probably will... Um, Add minutes, it's not a problem. Uh, whatever that is in Fahrenheit will pop up here. So let's just see how they go. And while they're cooking, let's get this uh, buffalo sauce ready. So the air fryer is running, as you can hear it in the background. Um, you literally pour the whole um, jar of Frank, Frank's Red Hot original cayenne pepper sauce straight into the um, your pan whatever you're, you're using a small pan is absolutely fine add the butter half a teaspoon of Worcester sauce oops a teaspoon of honey Okay, that's ready. I'm just going to set it aside now. Off, I'm going to take it off the heat. And just leave it over there. That's perfect. It smells absolutely beautiful. It really does. Let's check the chicken wings. Let's just shush these about. Leave them to carry on cooking until we'll check them again in about five ten minutes. See you in a bit. Okay, let's just check the uh, chicken, see if it's cooked. I have put the sauce back on the heat. Um, let's just have a look and see whether this is cooked. Well, that's fabulous. I, I think I might swing a little bit. Well, I think I might add the sauce directly into the air fryer basket um, and let it carry on cooking for a few few more minutes okay I'm gonna put the sauce in straight in um, it's meant to be saucy according to the reviews <laughs> I've just got to stir this okay, let's just give it a good stir and mix it all in and we're just gonna let it cook for a few more minutes The, the sort of end uh, instructions on the recipe I found were very vague for the um, end of these, but it just feels right just to kind of finish them off um, in the in the sauce in the air fryer for the like five five minutes or, or so. So just add ten minutes. We'll check in five. 
So four minutes have passed since we put them in, but let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, whoopsie. Well, they look fantastic. I, I actually think these are fine, ready to serve now. Um, any excess sauce, I'm going to save in a jar. For, because the sauce went in with the chicken, chicken wings were cooked, I'm 100% fine with saving the sauce and using um, on a later date. So we're going to transfer this to a bowl and taste test. See you in a minute. Oh, steamy hot buffalo sauce wings with wings. Oh. And I've got a jar, uh, and be because I've left this, uh, you know, this is going to be used. This is to be enough for a, a second edition. You know, if you, I'll freeze that, um, and it'll be absolutely fine for another Friday night treat. Um, these are hot, so I'm just kind of waiting for them to cool down. It does separate quite quickly, I noticed um, on this, but you know, mixed up and cooked, and then definitely cook in the air fryer for five five to ten minutes it's completely up to you um but they come out really lovely and i it was actually really quite simple when you think of just bunging the uh, wings without any adornment to start with because at the end you're, you're sort of putting on the deliciousness at the very end and with them already cooked it's really handy for the extra sauce because there is a lot of sauce oh i've got to have a taste test, test. oh it's going to be hot Right, let's get just dive in. Mm. Oh. oh, oh, that's spicy. Oh, it did say in the recipe, if you want to make it hotter, just add more cayenne pepper. Um, I had one and a half teaspoons, which is really spicy for me, but I've got a very low tolerance, um, I'm sure. Owl and the well, owl would definitely probably would have more cayenne pepper, but you can adjust it to your own taste or even go less than one and a half teaspoons. Mm. You can really get the acidity of the rice vinegar and the sweetness of the honey. The honey is a good addition, this is some lovely kickbacks. This is would this is such a good Friday night. Um, Special. Mm. Mucky too. Definitely very mucky. <laughs> mm. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, I'll be back. Delicious. Oh, one kilogram. Um, and if you did it in a ninja or anything that's a slightly smaller air fryer, just move them about a bit more. That's all you need to do. If it's a bigger air fryer, there's less shizzing about, but you can cook one kilograms in there easily. Um, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely delicious. Um, and very, really lovely and spicy. Um, but with, with flavour, you know, really lovely. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. <laughs> I don't often ask. Um, also, I have um, two other channels, uh, my allotment channel and my um, car channel, which I've got the very first vlog up, which is fantastic. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye. Oh, I've got to have one more and then I'll call the boys have a drum it. <laughs>